Okay, in this video, we're going to go over an absolute value equation. But this one's going to be particular. It's going to be a double nested absolute value equation. Now, what do we mean by uh, double? Well, double clearly means that there's two absolute values, but nested means that one of the absolute values is inside the other absolute value. So what do you do with a problem like that? Okay, so let's talk about what absolute value means. Remember, when you have the absolute value of some number, you're basically saying that you have a positive and a negative case of what it's equal to. So for example, let's say x was, uh, was uh, 5, which means that you're 5 units away from zero. But remember, that along a number line, you can be 5 in the negative direction or 5 in the positive direction. So there is positive and negative cases, okay? So normally what you do, you have to split this up into two different equations, a positive and negative case. Now, when you have a double nested absolute value, you basically will do this in two stages. Initially, what you're going to do is ignore the first part. And so you'll have the absolute value of whatever is inside there will be equal to 6. Okay? And we're going to make the positive and negative value there. Now, whenever you go ahead and split this up into two cases, you remove the absolute value signs. So here's our positive case over here, and here is going to be our negative case. Now let's remove the absolute value signs on the outside, and we're going to get x minus 2. The absolute value of x minus 2 minus 2 is equal to a positive 6. Let's do the same thing over here you're going to get the absolute value of x minus 2 minus 2 is equal to a negative 6. <clears throat> now, whenever you have, again, so we're, we're, now we're going to do the second stage. We still have an absolute value here, so we're going to break this up into two units again. But before we do that, we need to isolate the absolute value. So let's go ahead and add 2 to both sides, and I'm going to get the absolute value. That's my step 1. There's my step two. Uh, I'm going to get the absolute value of x minus two is equal to a positive eight. Again, just adding numbers to both sides. And over here, I'm going to get the absolute value of x minus two, add two, it's going to be equal to a negative four. Now, uh, this is actually going to simplify our problem a little bit. If we look over here, the absolute value of some number can never be negative, right? Because you're always talking about the, the number of spaces away from zero or the number of units you are, you are away from zero, and you can't have a negative number of units away from zero. So there's, there's no solution here. So again, whenever you have the absolute value of something equal to a negative number, it's not going to be possible. Now over here, we can break this up into two cases. Again, my positive case and my negative case. Let's put those there like that. So my third step. I'm going to have, and remember you take those out, so I'm going to have x minus 2 will be equal to the positive 8, and x minus 2 will be equal to a negative 8. And again, we have no solution here. Let's keep going. Fourth step. Add 2 to both sides. x is equal to a positive 10 or x is going to be equal to, uh, add 2 there, we're going to have negative 6. Now, so we have two solutions here, but we can't stop there. We have to go back and check, okay? So let's go back and check these. Let's try positive 10. 10 minus 2 is 8. The absolute value of 8 is 8 minus 2 is 6, and the absolute value of 6 is indeed 6. So this actually works perfectly. Let's try this one, negative 6. Negative 6 minus 2 is a negative 8, but the absolute value of negative 8 is 8. So 8 minus 2 is 6, absolute value of 6 is still 6. So both of these actually check out, okay? Um, so again, remember what you do, two stages. 
you ignore the nested value first. Nested means inside. Just do the outside part, positive and negative values. Go ahead and simplify, isolate the absolute value by itself. If it's a negative, you have a no solution. If it's positive, again, you break it up into positive negative cases, solve, and then check. Okay, I hope that was helpful.